Today when we start a session, please remind me to check if I've started recording it or not. Please. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so what we'll be doing today is uh, conditional statements. Okay. So what we have seen uh, so far is uh, we have seen how do we you know extract certain set of observations based on the row number. So for that, what what options did we use? I'm sorry, can, can you say it again? So what we have seen so far is uh, we have seen how do we extract certain observations based on the row number. That's the observation number, right? Like if you want first 10 observations uh, or if you want from 10th to 20th observation, we have seen how to do that. So which, what options do we use in order to get the results that I'm talking about? Uh, first OBS. OBS. And Correct. Correct. So we have seen using first OBS and OBS, we can extract the based on number of observations, uh, number of the observations, we can extract those records, right? But as we have seen that it is not that very handy, okay? Like it will, it will not help us do a whole lot of other things what we would like to do, right? If I ask you a question, like okay, uh, in the cars data set that is there in SAS help, if I ask you. Um, how many uh, models are from origin Asia? Then with that feature, you will not be able to answer this question. Correct? So for that, what we need is conditional statement. In SAS, there are two conditional statements. One is where and the other is if then. Okay? So we will be starting with the where clause as to how do we use a where condition. So it's very simple and straightforward. It is just like a statement that we say, like you know, where uh, a particular variable has matches a certain value. Okay. So let's see how we can do that. So let's just take a simple proc or a proc example. Let's say proc print data equals let's say sas of uh, cars and. Uh, then we have seen how to use this, right? Model make origin. Right. So what does this code do? This code will print uh, the data that is in sasl.cards with only these three variables. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. So when I run this code, you will see that here I have model make an origin listed out. Only the three variables that you have specified in the var statement will be printed. So it is for 428 observations, right? So, but again, let's go back to the question of, of understanding. I want to know out of these 428 observations, how many observations, uh, that is, how many models of cars are from Asia, right? Mm -hmm. So, in order to answer that, what I need to do is I need to use a where condition. Top pin data equals as type of card, right? And here I use I can use var also along with it, or I can just use a where statement, right? And then I use a where. So where I say origin because I'm checking for origin being equal to Asia equals in quotes single or double either these will be A S I. So I'll just use n so that I get a count of it. Yeah, so here you see my observation numbers are not continuous because it's just extracting the values which are Asia. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Can you see? So there are 158 observations which are from Asia. Mm -hmm. Right? So this, on the other hand, is a lot more useful. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's one more important thing that you need to keep in mind here. Uh, if you remember, we have discussed already that uh, the codes that you write in SAS, they are not case sensitive. So mm -hmm. you can write it in uppercase, lowercase, propercase, whichever way you want. Right? Mm -hmm. But the value that you mention here, that you're comparing in your where or your if, 
Mm -hmm. Right? So this case has to match with the way it is written in your data set. Okay. Okay. So for example, here if you see Asia is written as uh, properties. So the first letter is capital, the rest of them are small, right? Similarly, in make Honda is written as property. But here in my code, if I give it as click this, all small, and I try to run the code, I will not get anything. Can you see? There were zero observations read from the data set where origin equals Asia. You might think, okay, then there are no observations with value as Asia, which is not true. We know there are some cars or some models which are from origin Asia, but here it is not printed because it is checking for exact value of this, wherein all are lowercase. Hence, it will return zero observation. So you have to be careful as to in what way are they written in your data set. Is that okay? So, for example, uh, let's say I want to write a code wherein I want to check make equals. So I know there's a make called as uh, Honda, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So I write Honda, and let's see how many observations. So there are only 17 observations with make as Honda, correct? Mm -hmm. so they listed all the models of Honda here. Yeah. Similarly, I know there's BMW also. So let me just write BMW. If you see again, I've not got the result. It says zero observation. So the problem is BMW is not written in this fashion in my data set. It is written like this. Yeah. So now we see there are 20 observations. Basically, 20 models uh, which are of make BMW. Yeah? Yes, yes. So, what if I want to? So, let me just come back to my earlier example here. That was origin equal Asia. Right? So, in the next example that we, took, we saw was uh, make equals. Uh, and that, right, so you can do away with your var statement. So it's just that all the variables uh, I'm will be printed. That is the only difference. Yeah, your observations are going to remain the same, but all the variables will be printed out. Okay. So now coming back, um, I have a question. Yes. What if I want uh, of two, suppose origin might be two countries or two, I mean the make can be two, and uh, I want them in a, um, no, okay, yeah. okay, sorry, I got I got it, okay. Yeah, so yes, so that's what we'll be uh, coming to next. As to what if I have got, I want to check multiple conditions, right? So uh, let's say I want to check, I want all the observations, uh, which are of make Honda, mm -hmm. or which are of make BMW. Okay, so my code here will look so that's where we are talking about Boolean function and then or logical. Operators. So these are called as logical operators. Right? So, how we, the the answer to your question is we have to use either AND or, or logical operator. So here the question is, uh, how many mod, how many observations are there of either Honda or BMW? Right. So here you just use OR and then write make equals. Right. So now. What will we get? So we get only those observations which are either BMW or Honda. So that will be totally 17 plus 20, which is 37. Right? So if you see, your make is only BMW or Honda. 
here. So let's say if we want to find out, uh, we want to print only those observations uh, which have a certain specific, uh, you know, amount or price, right? So how do we do that? So print data equals transfer dot cards, right? And then we have where uh, invoice. So now we are going to compare the numeric values. So for numeric values, you don't have to give quotes. Let's say invoice is greater than uh, quote as 15,000, right? And we'll say, and you want to check, and origin should be equal to um, Europe. Okay, so let's see. Be the result. So now the result of whatever result we are getting is all the cards which have uh, which are from origin Europe and invoice amount greater than fifteen thousand. So they are one by three, right? So let's say let's make it as forty thousand. Let's see how many are more than forty thousand. European makes. So you will see there are 53 of them. Correct? Mm -hmm. right? So this is how you use your conditional statements and this is how you use your, you know, you can use your greater than, lesser than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, mm -hmm. you know, not equal to signs. And you can use your logical operators and and or in order to get whatever uh, combination of com values that you want. So you can just write a simple code here and just give a simple exercise. So how many models uh, in USA are Just write a code for this thing. So these questions are with respect to our data setting asset. Okay, so this is the first part. And second one is let me start writing for this. Can you just try these two questions, please? Yeah, I am. We're doing it. Yeah.
is that sports is the same way you, know, you are given or no, it's not. It's I think it's propagate. First is S is capital. Oh, okay. Saying that sedan is uh, not available in. Ah, uh, S is capital in sedan also. Yeah, I have mentioned it. Okay, let's just uh, take a look at the code. Let me show this. By using sedan, I can get a, a result of three or four or so. Okay, so the thing is, there is no. Uh, can you show a code, please? I'll just. Yeah. Oh, shit. I got it. Can you see? Okay, origin US and well, see it's important as to see make is not sedan, type is sedan. Mm -hmm. it's type. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is like sports is a type, right? Yeah. Similarly, and since it's character value, it has to be in quotes. Oh, okay. And the variable is type. Okay. okay. But you might still not get it. Uh, should I include it in the sports sedan? Exactly. So the thing is, so in one variable, if you're checking checking multiple conditions, then the logical operator will be or. Right? So if it's sports or if it is sedan, so both the values you want. Oh, I got it. Okay. So. Um, but you have to specify the variable name again, like type equal. Oh. Okay, type equal. So then you must get it. And remove the last and that should work. Okay, so the first one, how many observations? How many models? Nine. Okay. Totally. Alicia? Alicia? Oh, actually, I didn't mention the US state, so I got 262. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just using a while statement so that I just use those variables that I'm working on, and so it's easier for me mm -hmm. to put the result. I'm using uh, tie, so I'm using origin, model, origin. I and MSI. Right? So where? So what I want? Where uh, origin equals USA first of all, right? And what is it? And and we have type should be equal to sedan or or type should be equal to. Okay. 
cases, this is like it's better to use code. Uh, I mean, it's better to use brackets so that we know in the order in which it has to compute, right? Yeah, and we have one more condition, and that is so we use an and MSRP equal or rather is less than forty thousand. So this is how a condition should look. Let's run this code. So I have eighty-six observations. Right? So USA, either they are sedan or sports, and MSRP amount is less than forty thousand everywhere. Yeah, so you can go to my core again. I have basically used a bracket for my OR condition because I want this to be solved together. The same I was getting five. Okay. Uh, can you share your screen, please? Yeah. Okay. The result is. Result. Uh, equal to sports. Okay. See, the reason is come back to your code. See, if you notice, your result is having type sports only. Uh, can you see? Oh, uh, what is the reason? The reason, okay, go to your result window. So here, if you notice, you got type sports alone. And come back to your code now. Now can you look into your code and see what could be the problem? Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, your sedan as this. Must be capital, yeah. So, because it was small, it was not including any of the sedan values. Yeah? Anusha, you got it? I'm trying on the second one actually. I got the first oh. one. Okay, good. It, it says where clause operator requires compatible variable. It means you've probably used the wrong variable name somewhere. Can you show me the question? Okay. Can you see my screen? Okay, I got yeah. So we want models from uh, Asia and Europe, which are with whose invoice value is between thirty-five thousand and forty-five. Mm -hmm. Can you see my code, please? Sure. Okay. I know where the problem is. Can you just like look into the code that you have written above and below? The code above has worked, right? Uh -huh. The code below is not working. Could you see what the reason could be? There is some the very, very silly mistake that is you are doing in the second code. Look at the way you're comparing numerical values. Okay. 
Yeah, that I think the commas. Yeah. Exactly. Comma. Are uh, you using quotes for numeric values yes. in your second? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. So they have to be without quotes. Sai, you got the second one? Yeah, I was just doing. Sure. Yeah. So, the code for it looks something like this, which is uh, and this is the variable uh, model. one set of condition. I want this to be met and invoice is uh, greater than or equal to 35,000 and invoice should be less than or equal to 45,000. So let's just run this code. What the result looks like. Here we have origin uh, only Asia Euro and invoice being 35 to 45,000, which comes up to 42 observations. Mm -hmm. 42 models. Correct? Is that the answer that you guys are getting? Yes. Okay. So, this is how you will use your weight yeah. condition. I was getting 26. Okay. Uh, can I see your code? Uh, okay, it's forty-five thousand. That's everything. Oh, okay. Mm. Forty-five. Okay. Yeah. So that should be fine. So this is how you use your where condition and operator and or operator. Operator. Uh, so as you see that uh, it gets a little tedious while you're using or, right? So like Asia or Europe. So you have to every time write the variable name. So in case you have a scenario where you are checking multiple values in or using the OR operator, right? Mm -hmm. So what would happen in that case is uh, it will be easier if there is a workaround to that, right? So if I ask you as to uh, lint observations and observation uh, which which are of May Sura uh, BMW Honda Toyota uh, and uh, Okay, so if this is a question, then what would be, what would you be doing? It's pretty simple. So you use a proc print data equals the data set name, right? Mm -hmm. And set dot car, right? And then you have var IP model and name, right? And I use where. So here I have to write where make equals Sura, right? Or make equals uh, BMW, or make equals Honda. So isn't it very redundant that I have to write the variable name over and over again when it is the same variable? 
Okay, so it is like really tedious and it's not an efficient way of coding. Can okay. we use keep statement here? No, here you can't use a keep statement. Mm -hmm. uh, right. So this is very very inefficient. Mm -hmm. So what we can do here is we can use something called as an in operator, which comes very handy. So the way you use that is. Right. So it's like a, when you have like a multiple OR conditions to be written, you can use a in operator. So the way that goes is so you just write where and uh, here it is make, right? Make equal to, uh, or rather make, you don't write equal to, this is the variable name, okay? And then you write in. Okay. After this, we just mention whatever values you want to check. Correct. So here you have the and the Let me just run this part above first. So here we see we have all the those makes which we have specified and there are 73 observations, right? Mm -hmm. We have Toyota, Honda, Cadillac, BMW. Oh, we don't have a Cura for some reason. Oh yeah. Wow. And Acura, right? Mm -hmm. So here we have the totally we have uh, 80 observations. Correct. Mm -hmm. So in this example, let's see what happens. So here also you have the same 80 observations. So using in operator becomes very efficient when you have multiple values to be checked mm -hmm. using the or. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how we use a in operator. So in the above example also, so in this case, what you could do is you could just uh, use in instead, like where origin in, and you specify that in a bracket, and then use your and mm -hmm. as it is. Right? Uh, now let's say I ask you some other question, which is like uh, this is my data set, right? So if you see here. These are my model names. Correct. So if you see MDX is a name of the more car, RS, RSX type S 2DR, PSX 4DR. So here 2DR and 4DR are nothing but doors, like two doors and four door cars. Mm -hmm. Correct. So if I want to know, okay, how many models are two door cars? Right. Mm -hmm. So how do you think I can do that? Can I just write? model equal to 2DR directly? No, no. Why? Because that it is just not the exact value. It is a value which is embedded into it. Mm -hmm. Correct. So what we can do in order to read values like this is use an operation called as contains. Mm -hmm. okay. So how that is done is again simple. I say where, so model, right? And I use contain. Contain in quotes, I have to write whatever value I am checking. Right? Mm -hmm. so when I run this code, I should get only those which have 2DR. Like you see, it's two doors. Mm -hmm. door. These are all basically all two door cars. Mm -hmm. right? Or rather, two doors specified in the variable uh, model. So there are 92 observations which are two door models. Mm -hmm. right? The same thing can be done 
using the like operator but then the like operator you will have to use something else like this so how do you do that and so I'll just show you the same thing instead of contains you have to use like and when you use like you have to use a percentage in the beginning and at the end Okay. Yeah, so you see? Yeah, again. Okay. But what makes the difference? The, the difference is in the way, uh, see, contains is like an evolved version of light. Okay, okay, okay. So it's an evolution of light, that's all. Well, so, see here when you use percentage in the beginning and at the end, it means like you're looking for it. There could be anything before 2DR or and after 2DR. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to see something like, let's say, you want to see all the values which are ending with H, okay. right? So for that case, uh, how we can write it is, you can just say, uh, you, can, oh, you can only use this. So you say percentage H, it means it can, there can be anything before this, but not after. Okay, right? like is, and like and uh, this uh, what contains is only for the end, end part of the name or anywhere? No, anywhere. See, contains is anywhere. Like it depends where you use this percentage sign. Mm -hmm. okay. Right, so so here you see these are all the values which are ending with H. Okay, but in, in the above statement you gave before and after, what does that mean? I mean, anywhere in the sentence does So it before and after means. Uh, if I open this result here, see, 2DR is in between, right? Okay, okay. So, so there is something after that also, there is something before that also. Okay. It could be in the end, in the beginning, or in between. So when you give like this, here we are looking at hatch H where it is at the end only. So if I give 2DR uh, here, it means I'm looking for two doors only at the end of the modeling. Okay, okay. So technically, the result of this should be different from the one above. Mm -hmm. So when you run this together, you will see this is where we are using it together. So here we have 94 observations, and here you have only 77. Mm -hmm. Can you see? And here you have 2DR only at the end. Yes, yes, you got it. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. So that's how you use contains and like. Uh, and what if I want both the 2DR and the letter ending with H? You use and or rather or or model like percentage H. Can't we use in here? Yeah, yeah you can use. Okay. Uh, no, no, not really because. Uh, I'm not sure if because you're using like here, right? So you're it's not like equal to directly. Right. When we using or we were just uh, earlier we were trying to equate the values. Mm -hmm. So with like you can't use indirectly. So here you have hatch and to be yeah. Mm -hmm. So this should be it is seven. Okay, so that's how you can use. Yeah. Uh, and earlier we have seen an example where we are checking values for like invoice. 
uh, value, you know, which is more than 35,000, less than 25,000, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. So what we can do is we can use uh, a between operator if we are checking some values like that. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So how does that work is again, uh, uh, print data equals uh, the data set name. And then uh, the model you can invoice, and you say where invoice is like I say greater than or equal to twenty five thousand, and invoice is less than or equal to thirty five thousand. Right. So this is how we wrote the code earlier. And so the same thing can be written using the between operator and how does that work it's again pretty simple so in place of and so what you say is uh, you use invoice between so here you don't use a symbol you just say invoice between 25,000 and 35,000 yeah cool not in the quotes no, no, because it's numeric value, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So, let's just run both the codes together and see. Oops, okay, equal to sign is missing somewhere. Yeah. Data equals both of these, is it? So here we have, if you see this is 106 observations, here we also have 106 observations, right? So that's the between operator. Okay. So that's how you use these different operators. So what we have seen so far is using uh, these different, uh, this conditional statement where with a proc step. Right? So in this case, you have seen example using proc print. Mm -hmm. But so here technically we have not made any difference uh, in the data set or anything like that. Right? We just printed those values. But what if, okay, uh, what if your manager asks, okay, whatever data uh, set you're working on, can I get a subset of it which will have which will meet the following conditions right for example I don't want a proc print report but I want a data set which will meet a certain condition okay so in that case what we do is we use a where condition in a data step okay? so yes we can use a where condition in a data set and that is it is simple. So you say, like, let's say, cars underscore uh, low price, you know, or let's say cars underscore euro, right? Set cash health dot cars. This is my source file, and I just use a where condition where uh, origin equals euro. So that's how uh, I can create a new data set which is having only those observations mm -hmm. which are of Europe. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's just run this code. Now you see, I don't get a result window, but my output data set opens up. So this data set has got only 123 rows, obviously, because we have origin Europe only. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that clear? So you can basically whatever we have seen about like using and or like between whatever, you can use all those in your data and set statement as well. Okay, okay. so I'll just, just see the simple question to work on. Uh, create a data set. Um, Thank you. 
Try this code. So here we are using variable model to check for four doors, and we're using origin to check on which uh, continent or country, and uh, we're using drive train variable to check for all wheel drive, and we're using mpg underscore city to check the mileage. This is all in a one, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. MPG underscore city is the one which is like my city. Drive train is the name of the variable which I got all. All wheel drive terrain and mileage in city both are same. No, they're two different variables. Drive train is a variable name which has all in it for okay. all wheel drive. And MPG underscore city is the one which has got mileage. So it is MPG underscore city. Can you, can you see my screen, Omar? One second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 
uh, where origin in okay after in they have to be open and closing bracket okay is it mandatory or? yeah yeah it is okay uh, there has to be a logical operator between this origin condition and model condition i'm sorry your logical operators are missing okay here is it okay no 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 equal to is not required here yeah, so origin and model or model right oh, okay so those operators have to be there mm -hmm. and okay model like so and so yeah and drive train all and then you have and mm -hmm. correct now you run it yeah. Yeah. i'm not getting any error but it was showing me blank yeah so logical errors it will not throw so now you see there are four errors what are they model like there should been be equal to okay that whereas form m MPG underscore city. Mm -hmm. So you have written as MGP. Okay. And and uh, okay. Okay. Da 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 da. Something work put in dot data does not exist. Ah, that's no matter what. Okay, so you have given n, right? N shouldn't be there in your set statement. You can use it only in proc print and some other proc steps, not in data sets. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's totally twelve, right? Oh. Yes. How much did you get? Twelve. Yeah, twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So that's great. So your code should look something like this. Data destination file. So we are saying cars underscore one. Set source file. That is a task help. Task help dot cars. And then you have your where condition. So we have multiple conditions here. Uh, let's just start with origin in. Okay. You will say or uh, Europe right. and drive uh, train equal to all correct. Right. And uh, model like, or you can use contains model contains Korea, right? Four. And we have uh, yeah, MPG underscore city between. What is it? Twenty-eight and twenty-four. Okay. So that's it. So in case, uh, in my resultant, so this is the right code. But if I have wanted only those variables that I'm working on, then I can always use a keep and drop. Mm -hmm. Oops, I want only three. So. Uh, it's four door, not two door. Oh, oh yes, yeah. sorry. Yeah, so they are twelve. That's perfect. So if you want to retain only those variables that you're using in your uh, 
a data set, then what you can always do is you can just say heap equals origin, right? And write train model mpg underscore city. Okay, so these are the one, two, three, four variables that we are using. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we have only those variables that we are working on. Correct? Okay. So that's how uh, you use your where condition in, in a data step as well as in a clock step. So that's a pretty important thing to note that a where condition can be used in a data step as well as proxy. All right. So the next one that we will be seeing is uh, about the if condition. So this can be used in a data step only. So you can't use a if condition in a proxy. Okay. So we'll just see a one thing with a simple example of using the if condition. And uh, let's see how we can do it. So if condition is uh, usually it's got a then part to it. So it's mainly used for manipulating data. And that is the reason it can be used only in a data step and not in a proc step. Okay. So let's say you want to create a new variable based on the value of a certain set of variables like uh, let's say based on your uh, invoice amount right so let's say we want to create create a uh, like variable called price slab variable uh, based on MSRP value, right? So, how do we do that? So, let's say I want to create a variable called price lab which will have values like high and low, okay? Based on my MSRP value. So, let's say like more than 35,000 of MSRP is high and less than that is low. So, in order to do that, we can use the if condition. So, First of all, can we do that something like this using a where condition? Uh, I think yeah. we can do only one condition if it is less or. Yeah, if but you can't create a new variable, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we can't. So that you can't create a new variable. You can just pull the observation out, pull the value out, but you can't make any changes to uh, an existing variable or a new variable. Right? Yeah. So that is the difference of using a where and if. So here instead we have the source file and then we use if condition. Right? So if again the way you write it is similar. So if MSRP, right, let's say is greater than let's put it as 35,000, right? You have a then part word. So if and then always go together. If something, if this condition, then something else, right? So this is where the manipulation part comes. Right? If MSRP is greater than 35,000, then I want a new variable called price underscore slab, which equals high. Right? So I'm creating a new variable here, price slab, which is a, going to be a character value because I'm going to assign a character value here. Okay. Then you use else price slab equals low. Right? So if you want to keep only these set of uh, uh, variables here, you can always use your keep equals model make MSRPN size.
So this should have only four variables that we are listed in the key. So you have model, make, MSRT, and price that. So more than 35,000 is high, less than that is low. Can you see? So we basically created a new variable to our data set. This is what variable that we had. Right? So this is one example of using a Condition. Right? So you can use a complex if you see what is the, like you have a nested if, you have a complex uh, multiple uh, if then else statement. But before that, let's just write a couple more quotes on using if condition. Right? So next one, um, uh, just you can try it uh, and I'll share the code with you. So let's say create a variable. Uh, called tax or rather mm, let's say region of which or origin and rest for okay. yeah so can you just try code for this so basically a new variable that you're creating uh, region right so this will hold either the east or west so only for Asia where origin is Asia your region will be equal to east else it will be west is that clear mm -hmm. is this right Is it done? Not yet. Okay. So, this would be my source file. 
uh, the station file, sorry, I just put in post file. Let's have only features for only the relevant variables. Make origin and the new variable that I create. And here's where I'm going to have my test package. Right? So I say if origin equals Asia. Correct? If it's Asia, have right then. Then my new variable name is region. Right? Region equals, this is also character value, right? East. Yeah? Then I write else. I don't have to write anything because anything else in Asia we are saying has to be west. So I just write else region equals west. Here I don't have to again check the condition else origin is you know, Europe or uh, USA because we are saying anything other than Asia, everything goes to West, right? So, just write else. Right, so let's just run this code. See how the code looks, the result looks like. So here you have East and West, yeah? So that's how you write a simple if then else statement, right? So uh, we'll see. We'll be seeing as to how do you write a multiple else statement. Uh, how do you, uh, you know, do a lot of other uh, manipulations and manipulations using uh, else uh, in a tomorrow session. Okay. Can you just see my board? I, I cannot see West anywhere. Only it's, it's displaying me. Person, yeah, I can show you a code. And make equals. Okay, so the reason you are saying make equals, no? It has to be origin. Or, yeah. Oh, okay. So That's it. So it was directly executing only the else part, even without checking the Yes. Can I get here? Yeah? Oh okay. Any doubts, Sai? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay. So let's connect up tomorrow, same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So that's it for today. I'll just, uh, just check the email IDs that I've used in the other videos and I should be sharing it again so you can just check your uh, uh, mail from the YouTube with the updated uh, link and the updated privacy okay. setting. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night.